Stellar Explorers is a national high school space challenge sponsored by several organizations, including the Air Force Research Laboratory and the Air Force Association. Two Oklahoma City area high school teams made the finals this year. And as Steve Shaw reports, when you shoot for the stars, there's no telling just how high you'll fly. Stellar Explorers is a virtual space system design competition. It challenges teams of three to six students in critical thinking, problem solving, teamwork, and leadership skills. And of course, you must be pretty smart. They're absolutely phenomenal students. If uh, just spend a little bit of time with them, watch how they work together, it is uh, truly impressive. 211 teams from high schools across the nation began the competition in October. This five-member Air Force Junior ROTC group from Edmund North was one of two Oklahoma teams that gutted it out through three practice rounds, three qualifying rounds, and a semifinal round. Last Friday, in a tense eight-hour-long national finals competition, Edmund North and this team from Francis Tuttle Technology Center were two of ten teams that went for all the marbles. Absolutely beyond impressed with their abilities. Ernest Sanchez is a 2009 OU graduate. He teaches physics and robotics and coached the Edmund North Junior ROTC team. Last Friday, he explained the big finals assignment. But the key things that they're looking at are designing a satellite and its components to achieve a mission. So that might include things like batteries and solar panels and cameras and sensors uh, to get a specific task done. And then they also have to choose where that satellite goes in space so that it can actually achieve that mission. Charles Kutahi coached the three-member team that finished the competition for Francis Tuttle. In this specific mission, I believe uh, they're trying to um, have an early warning system for uh, solar radiation for the astronauts so they can get to a safe area and, you know, other designs of, I think there's a launcher that they're working on and there's cost of the mission. So all three parts of any real space mission, uh, Again, the orbits that you're going to be going through, making what kind of satellite, how you're going to get it there, how much is it going to weigh, how much is it going to cost, what equipment are you going to have, how long will it last, all those things. Retired Air Force Major Eric Weingartner helped direct the Edmund North effort. The hardest thing about the competition is, the, um, is being able to uh, realize that you're not going to get a perfect answer. So if you're the type that has to have a perfect answer, that's going to be hard for you. But you're going to try to find the optimal answer because you have limitations. There's not an unlimited budget. There's not unlimited uh, resources. You have to find the right balance. The semifinals was six weeks ago. Out of 60 teams, the crew from Edmund North finished with the highest score. I mean, we were all really surprised when we saw that result that we got the top score because we, we weren't expecting to get into finals at all. When, like, when it was time for semifinals, we were all just like, okay, this is, the, this is basically the last round of the season. Uh, let's just try our best, you know? And have some fun. Yeah, exactly. We were, yeah, we were, we were pretty shocked, you know? We were excited. Uh, we thought we at least did well, you know? The most important thing for us to do was just to not panic and just have fun doing it. Sophomore Keon Moise wants to fly jets for the Air Force one day. Yeah, I do. Senior Alexander Loney wants to be an astronaut. You want to go to Mars? Oh yeah, <laughs> I'll take the, the first seat there. <laughs> As for Francis Tuttle, well, they won bragging rights in the championship round last Friday. They scored so high, Francis Tuttle jumped from a middling ranking to a final overall finish in second place. Francis Tuttle team members each earned $2,000 educational grants. A team from Portland, Oregon won it all. Yeah, we weren't really expecting to do anything. Um, going into the finals, we didn't even think we'd make it to the finals. We were ranked 26th. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I was a little bit shocked because it's like, wow. Renardus Herholt plans to study mechanical and electrical engineering at the University of Central Oklahoma. Pressure? Um, yeah, I did, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> uh, 
but luckily Sam, he uh, helped us um, know what to do. He's a good team captain. Of the 10 teams that made the finals, five hail from California, two from the Sooner State, and one each from Oregon, North Carolina, and Massachusetts. Edmund North team members congratulate Francis Tuttle. They did, and we're definitely happy for them, but we kind of wish that was our spot. But no hard feelings between us and Francis Tuttle. Everybody there is top notch, you know, they're all, they're all there and they're, most of them are there to win and, you know, I, I don't know exactly how we did in terms of score, but I'm sure it had to be close. We feel the same way. I mean, it felt really special to see, you know, two Oklahoma teams. Oklahoma's not really renowned for academics, you know, we're expecting more California, Oregon, Washington, and those kind of places were up there. There were five teams from California and Oklahoma beat all five of them. So that was kind of exciting. Steve Shaw, the Oklahoma News Report.